guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Powerpuff Girls collection by Indie Lacquer. So there are four neons with shredded black and holographic glitter. These will be available on the 17th, so in the description box below I will link the Indie site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything in this collection. So we have four polishes to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Blossom, and this is a neon pink with black and holographic silver shreds. So here's our first coat of Blossom, and for all of these I did want to preface by saying for the first coat I just applied it how it was sitting normally on my desk, and then the second coat I did flip the bottle upside down after the first coat to let all of the glitter sink to the bottom so it is the best glitter payoff with the second coat. So here's two coats. This does cover completely in two coats for me, and for all of these, depending on your application, I am going to do two coats for everything, but you may opt to go in for a third coat. This has a beautiful, fantastic, easy to work with formula, no running or pulling or staining. It dries matte and you will want a glossy top coat for that reason. So there's two coats. Up next we have Buttercup and this is a neon green with black and holographic silver shreds. Here's our first coat of Buttercup and this does have the same formula as the previous polish and as all of these polishes will have. It has a good no running, easy to work with formula, no staining on this one either. You don't get a ton of shredded glitter out unless you hold that bottle upside down like I will do on my second coat. This one also will dry to a matte finish, so for that reason you'll want a nice glossy top coat, but also for the fact that these shredded glitters will dry a little bit textured on the nail, so one to two coats of a top coat will help smooth that out. I did get away with one coat of Super Chick Lacquer's Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat, which I do highly recommend. These glitters don't necessarily stick to your nail. I mean, some of them do, but they're not really hard to take off because they are pretty sparse, so there is two coats. Next up we have Bubbles, and this is a neon blue with black and holographic silver shreds. Here's our first coat of Bubbles. This one is also a little bit sheer here on this first coat per the usual of neons, so it does need a second coat. But I do like with these that you don't need a white base coat. You do get a pretty good amount of shredded glitter without having to hold the bottle upside down, but I did hold it upside down between the first and the second coat while this coat was drying, and you do get a better glitter payoff that way. So here's two coats, and this one does cover completely in two coats for me, but as per all of these, depending on your application and your preference and how long your nail line is and how white your nail tip is, you may need a third coat, but I was good in two. And again, you will want a glossy top coat to smooth everything out and to give this a glossy finish, so there's two coats. And lastly for today we have Mojo Jojo, and this is a neon purple with those same black and silver holographic shredded glitter. So here's our first coat of Mojo Jojo. This one, same formula, easy to use, easy to work with, no running, pulling, staining. You don't need a white base coat to make it extremely neon on your nails. You get a good amount of those shredded glitters, but once again you will get more if you hold the bottle upside down, which I do in between the first and the second coat. So here's our second coat, and I did stop here at two coats, but I would say this is definitely the only one that, for me, if I were wearing it out, I would do three coats. Again, it dries down to that demi matte finish, so you will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this off and to help those shredded glitters look cohesive, so there's two coats. So, no surprise, but Buttercup is my favorite from the collection. I love a neon green. Buttercup is my favorite Powerpuff Girl. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. They all have really good formulas. You get a pretty good amount of these black glitters, so it really is just dependent on which color you like best, and green is mine. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up, and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time.